Um, that was an incredible end to that test match. How have you kept it together? I think the fans wanted to rip the roof off this stadium. How are you feeling right now? Oh, look, I'm gutted for our men because uh, I reckon we deserve better. And it's a, hell, it's a hell of a game of footy. And, you know, we got a couple of yellow cards and found ourselves down 31-13. So to fight back and get ourselves in front uh, showed a lot of character and disappointing way to lose it. One thing I want to have a, a listen to, I know you've had a listen to the audio before you've joined us. I want everyone at home and, and watching in pubs and clubs around Australia to hear exactly what happened in that moment. Let's take a listen. Ten. Captain, please push back. I said first, yes. you play, we play. So okay? Dave, then I time off. The, I time Dave, off. you, you listened to that play. audio as soon as you came downstairs. So, so you know exactly what went on there. Is that as remarkable as it seems to the rest of us? Yeah, oh, look, I'm just talking to Bernard and uh, what we knew was the time was out and he, he told the boys to play, to play, but of course, the clock stopped, so there's no real urgency to do that. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh, it lacks a little bit of feel for such an important moment in the game. And and so, you know, you would have thought, kick it out and let's uh, play out the last couple of minutes. You ever seen anything like it? No. Worst thing you've one of the worst things you've ever seen? Oh, I'll reserve comment on that. But um, yeah, I look, it's. It's a tough one to take. So the team you put together, mate, eight changes, bouncing back from the Springboks in Sydney, comprehensively beaten in Sydney, to put a display, 37 points, winning the match against the All Blacks until the last dying seconds. There's plenty of positives there for Auckland next week. Yeah, I and mean, look, we'll, we'll reflect on that afterwards. It's pretty tough at the moment. Uh, but some unbelievable performances, and as I mentioned, uh, fight our way back into the game once we got restored to 15. Uh, we'll take a lot of heart from that, but um, you know you got to win these tight games, and uh, you know there'll, there'll be massive disappointment in the changing room. Dave, one of my highlights uh, after Pete Samu and Marika went for those late points, getting a glimpse of you in the coach's box, and you were up. You had a massive smile on your face, and that, at that point, that was when we all thought the Wallabies won this game, and could see how much it it meant to you. What, how were you feeling in that moment? Yeah, I think that put us within two, and then we converted from the sideline, and then Whitey put us in front. But, yeah, I look, it was just sort of capped off a, a hell of a comeback at that stage, and we, we knew we had a few minutes left to go. But, uh, look, I'm really proud of the boys, and um, it'll be a disappointing way to finish. I don't imagine you'll have to stoke the fire. What happened must be fuel for next week. I mean, there's going to be some fire in the belly next week. Yeah, I mean, there was plenty of fire in the belly tonight, too, and... Um, you know, we just got hurt when we were down to 13, got hurt from the kickoff, and, uh, and they found a bit of space in behind us with short kicks. So, yeah, credit to the All Blacks. The, you know, they're clinical when they get their opportunities. And But uh, at 31-13, not, not many teams come back against New Zealand, and uh, it was a hell of a performance in the end. Noah wasn't able to play this game. Foley came into the 10 jersey. His kicking game was out of this world, but what did you make of him on the field? Oh, I thought he was sensational. You know, his pass selection, uh, uh, his organisation, obviously, he kicked the goal superbly. And uh, it just shows, you know, he's an uh, experienced head and, uh, you know, a good voice that's uh, given a lot of confidence to people around him. Samu Leota, back row combination there, outstanding in the way that, in Valentini, the way they combined to impose themselves physically on that game. Is that something you really wanted to see from them? Yeah, I thought P. Samu again was outstanding. You know, we've talked about he's been one of our best players off the bench and uh, he had a massive game tonight uh, on both sides of the ball. So, um, yeah, no, really proud of him. Yeah. All right. So, Dave, thanks very much for, right. for joining us. Go, go in the sheds.